Well, what is happening, Batman fans, DC fans, movie fans alike? Welcome back to the channel. I am Dial, and today I want to give my thoughts on the Joker reveal from Matt Reeves to Batman, uh, the deleted scene of Joker that was released online not too long ago. Um, I know everyone has given their thoughts on this already. I know I'm a bit late on it, but um, I did want to give my thoughts on it since I've already went in so much detail about the Batman as it is. Um, so I thought, you know, it would only be fair to give my two cents on um, how I felt about uh, Joker, how he looked, how he acted, how he's depicted and all that. Um, so, yeah. Um so when it came to um, them revealing that Joker exists in um, Matt Reeves' Batman universe, um, I said before that I guess it's something that I should have expected because everyone is in love with the Joker. You know, he's like a huge, you know, huge Batman villain, huge DC villain. And I guess for a lot of people, it will feel strange to not acknowledge that, you know, he's in the universe or, you know, show that he's there. Um, for me, I didn't need that because we've gotten so many Jokers at this point. Um, and as I said many times before, um, Batman has one of the greatest rogues gallery in comics. I just didn't feel like they needed to, you know, reveal Joker this soon. You know, like you could put more focus on other villains. We could wait to show Joker and whatever. Um, I know Matt Reeves has said that, you know, he doesn't plan to make um him a main villain of a batman movie at least not not anytime soon like he's just going to be in the background for the most part which i'm perfectly fine with um i think that's a good approach because you know i i feel like we shouldn't be trying to you know overdo him overuse him as a villain in a batman movie um but me i personally i just didn't care to see him at all you know, it's just we've we've gotten so many depictions of Joker in such so little time. I just I would have been fine to just not see him for a few years. Yeah, I I feel that oversaturated with him. But um, regarding this, um, if you guys haven't seen my Batman review, um, it is up on the channel. If you guys want to check out my full thoughts, I'm not going to go into full detail about it again. But um, I did really like the movie. Uh, I thought it was a very well made film. Um, I don't think it's perfect. I don't, I'm not, I don't love it, but I do think it's one of the better made Batman films. And to me, you know, I, it's hard for me to fully appreciate the movie because I want them to put this much effort into how they're structuring the DCU because I feel the DCU is kind of a mess right now. So it just feels kind of weird to support this Batman when I've already been invested in the Batman from the DCU with Ben Affleck and stuff like that. So you know, but overall, well-made film. Um, so when it came to Joker in this film, um, I remember like in the in the actual movie, they teased him a little bit at the end when Riddler was arrested, um, and Joker was in there talking to to him, and like you didn't really fully see what he looked like, like he was behind glass or whatever, and his, I think there was like you know a bunch of lights covering his face, or he was like in the shadow or something like that, some silhouette or something like that. So you didn't fully see his uh, what he looked like, but you heard what he sounded like. And um, this Joker is played by Barry Keegan, uh, and for those of you who don't know who that is, he played Druig in um, Eternals in the MCU. Um, I thought that was an interesting choice. I didn't think they were going to get him to be the Joker, but um, you know, I was open to seeing what he does. I haven't really seen a lot of what Barry Keegan has done as an actor, so I was open to seeing how it is. Um, but yeah, you just got a little tease of how is he, how his Joker is, and I thought it was okay. I thought it was fine. I know a lot of people were complaining about his laugh and stuff like that. I didn't really have a problem with his laugh. You know, it, it sounded like Joker to me. Um, but I guess I sh people could take my opinion with a grain of salt because I defended jo Jared Leto's, you know, laugh. And overall, I, I do like his Joker. Uh, but like as far as this version of Joker, I didn't I don't really see why people are complaining so much because we got we got such a tease of him. I just don't understand why people were just up in arms being like, oh, man, it, it sucked already. I'm like. We didn't even see how he's incorporated into the story. We didn't get a full look of him. We got to wait and see, guys. So they released the deleted scene of Joker where, you know, Batman 
is going into Arkham and he's going to Joker's cell to get some information about the Riddler. And we get a full reveal of what he looks like. Uh mostly. They did like a um, you know, a fade out type of a effect on his face for the most part and they do a bunch of close-ups um but then they did show like a full reveal of his face at the end um so i guess i'm gonna be i'm probably gonna step on some toes on this one because um overall i don't like i don't like the design of joker i don't like it um and i know it's gonna be surprising for people because i know everyone is loving it and think it's really cool i'm not one of those people I'm not. I'm sorry. Um, as far as the scene itself, I didn't have a problem with it. Um, I thought it was very interesting because it's a dynamic we haven't seen from a Batman movie where um, Batman is go actually willingly going to see Joker in Arkham to get information out of him. And that's, that's an interesting dynamic we haven't seen before. Um, and Joker is somewhat being compliant to it at first, but then eventually, you know, he, play, he plays games with games with them like we um, usually see from him. So I thought the overall scene, how it's directed, I thought it was interesting. But as far as his look as the Joker, I'm not feeling it. I'm really not. I don't like it. Um, so the reason why I don't like it is because it reminds me a lot of um, the version of Joker we got from the New 52 where he cut his face, you know, he cut his face off and he has a bunch of stitches and burns and scars and stuff like that. And uh unpopular opinion, I'm not a huge fan of the um of the new 52 version of Joker. I never liked it. Um I just thought that's too extreme for the character of Joker to me. And I know that's really weird to say because Joker is such an unpredictable character. You know, he he never know what he's going to do. He does the most craziest things. But like to me, I think that's too far. I think that's too much for Joker to make a statement. I don't feel like he would go to that resort to, you know, do something extreme or do something shocking or, you know, get in the get in the psyche of the of Batman and other heroes. I don't feel like he would have to resort to something like that. I guess me personally, I'm more of the traditionalist. I like when Joker actually reminds me that he's a clown because that's his name he's the joker he has you know the crazy colors he has the green hair he has the red lips he has the card and everything you know i like when he resembles a clown you know when he's actually his character it's like when we see stuff in new 52 that just keeps going farther and farther from what you know the essence of what he is i just feel like it's too much you know i like you know it's fine when they do like you know, simple variations like he's a gangster or he's a mobster or he's an anarchist or whatever. But if the, you know, he still felt like the Joker. Like, I don't want him to be like this crazy serial killer, you know, person. He just feels like a completely different person when, you know, they have him do these extreme stuff to him like that. You know, and this is just my opinion. I'm not saying how I feel is like should be the defensive way of how Joker should be looked. But to me, I just, I just feel it just feels kind of strange and just jarring seeing Joker depicted in that way. And I honestly feel it's kind of strange when people like are so on board with you know that version of Joker where he, his face is ripped off and uh, and eating people, but then they we go to stuff like Jared Leto and people are freaking out or pissed off that he has tattoos, even though he has tattoos in the comics. So I don't understand why people are, or, you know, are freaking out about certain version of Joker, but then they're okay with, you know, stuff like this. I just, I just never understood it. And I, I know there's the other theory that, you know, he's so disfigured because maybe this Joker is just coming off of getting dropped in, um chemicals and you know acid like like he is in the comics so he would look that way and that theory i I think is fine i don't have a problem with that but just he looks so disfigured i just don't see how any type of surgery can make him look more like the joker that we know and love because i know that's what people are waiting for i think they're just waiting for the process and i am too but just looking at it face value i just don't understand how 
he can go to being looking more like the Joker from how he is now. He just looks so horrible, you know, and I guess we got to add comic book logic. We got to go with whatever they're going to go with, you know, if they eventually make him look be- better. But like, I'm just not feeling it. He just I just don't like looking at him. I don't. He just he looks so bad. And maybe that was the intent to get some sort of shock factor out of the audience. But like, as I said, it just feels too extreme. Um, But yeah, that's just that's overall how I feel about it. Like, you know, I'm going to reserve my judgment till we actually see him in the context of, you know, a full story where he's actually utilized. But, you know, just seeing him as in the first reveal, I just don't. I just don't like it. I'm I'm sorry, guys. I I really wanted to like it. I watched this scene so many times, and I just can't get myself to enjoy this. I can't. But you know, it's not to say that I think Barry Keegan is bad, or I think he's going to be bad. Because like as I said, we got such a little sample of his performance, and this is the beginnings of Joker. He's not actually fully Joker right now, so. You know, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. But as a first reveal, I just don't like it. I'm sorry, guys. But um, that's how I feel about uh, the reveal of Matt Reeves' Joker in, you know, the Batman universe. Um, what did you guys think about it? Did you guys like his um, look? Uh, did you guys not? Did you guys not enjoy it? Um, do you guys agree with me that, you know, you feel it's a little too extreme or you feel like this is in line with how he would be from the comics and from the source material you digging how edgy it is um how do you feel his joker will turn out in a maybe in a future movie or if he's going to be in the arkham tv show that they're developing for hbo max i heard he's probably going to make an appearance in that so we'll probably get a little bit more from him so We'll see how that goes. But um, let me know. Comment your thoughts down below. If you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. I just hit 400 subscribers. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to my videos. And I'm glad you guys enjoy what I do. But uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to be notified on future videos I'll be doing, please hit the bell as well. But uh, that's all I have for you DC fans and Batman fans. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.